Good day, my name is Anna Lexington, and here are my news clues for today. Ah, the border crisis in the US, a riveting spectacle where politicians morph into stand-up comedians, delivering punchlines about walls and borders. It's like a comedy roast, where the only thing getting roasted is common sense. The orchestrated immigration parade, a masterclass in logistical showmanship. It's a South America's version of a road trip, complete with free supplies and comfy buses, as if crossing borders were a vacation package. Does South America even have any people left in it? One can't help but marvel at the efficiency. It's the kind of organization you'd expect from event planners, not aspiring immigrants. Are we witnessing a migration or a well-coordinated Broadway production? Perhaps Hamilton got a sequel set on the border. Now, if I were a cynical strategist plotting against the US, this would be my playbook. Why bother with tanks and armies when you can conquer through caravans? It's the Trojan horse reimagined. But instead of one wooden giant, it's a fleet of tour buses. The irony is so thick you could cut it with a bureaucratic red tape. Cities like New York once proudly proclaiming themselves as immigrant sanctuaries in a defiant stance against Trump-era policies, are now grappling with a case of reality check-induced whiplash. The sanctuaries born out of spite for former president are now dealing with the unintended consequences of their own grand gestures. It's like hosting a party and then complaining when too many guests show up. In this political performance, the border crisis takes center stage, complete with its own cast of characters, immigrants seeking a cameo in the American dream, and politicians turning their immigrant pasts into convenient case studies of selective memory. It's a tragic comedy where the borders themselves chuckle at the chaos, having witnessed empires rise and fall, yet now serving as the backdrop for a quirkier episode in humanity's perpetual quest for identity and belonging. Thank you, Anna. Please like and subscribe. We're just starting and really need you, our supporters, to give us some love. Thank you. And that's the wrap for today. Join us tomorrow for another dose of news and clues. Until then, don't drink too much wine and be courteous to others.